So we have in here just a nice roux going. A nice, a nice peanut butter roux, because you know, typically with New Orleans mm -hmm. uh, roux, it's usually a chocolatey flavor, but mm -hmm. with uh, Gullah Gumbo, we do a lot of peanut butter, less, a little less nuttier. A lot of peanuts in African cooking. I, I uh, honeymooned in, in absolutely. South Africa for, absolutely. My, for my wedding. So while this is going, we're gonna add in our vegetables, which is the Trinity, which you, you the are- The Trinity, of course. Uh, my daddy's from Louisiana, so uh -huh. I know what that is. Celery. Celery. Bell pepper and onion. Uh-huh, uh exactly. So I'm gonna let that cook down. Yes, can you grate some garlic in there? So, I mean, Gullah food is very simple type of food made with meager ingredients. Okay, so once that kind of cooks down, we're gonna add in our smoked turkey. Gumbo filet, a little bit of... Um, Granulated garlic? That's ginger. Ginger, ginger, ginger. and peanut, yum. Yes, that's a great Love combination. It. A little pinch of a little salt and pepper. And now mm -hmm. I like to salt and pepper, you know, taste as you go, making sure, sure that sure, sure. every time you put in something, you may need to add a little Another bit more. Another layer, right. Exactly. Now, can you add in a little bit of seafood stock? And um, I like to use seafood stock. And, and like chicken to, stock? Because, yes, because we're, I like to get that seafood and that poultry stock nice. in there. And then the tomatoes? And the canned tomatoes. All right. Oh, that looks Look at gorgeous. That. Look at that. Look at that color. Baby lima beans. Baby uh -huh. limas. A little okra. A little okra. And good thing about okra, okra is seasonal. That's when we add the shrimp. We're gonna turn that down a little bit. Um, uh, and that's the last 10 minutes. So we've, we've cooked it for an hour uncovered, cook it for another two hours covered, then add the shrimp in for the last 10 minutes. So your cooking. house is gonna smell good all day. All day all long. All day. And that, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this looks delicious. <laughs> What's in your rice? That is Gullah red rice. Now, it's very closely related to, have you ever had jollof rice in West yes, Africa? Yes, yes. Okay, so that is exactly the same. The only thing is we use a little less heat and more sugar. Gotcha. Yeah, so, so it's to a kind little of balance, sweeter. It's right. a little sweeter. But um, it's a it's a one pot rice. You cook it in the oven, and it's important to use parboiled rice because it just it never overcooks. Okay, That's, it's always perfect, okay. and the oven does all the work. Right, exactly. So just drop, just dump that dump on top. Dump it right on top, right? On top. Okay. My dad always taught me that. Add yeah, whenever garnish. we had gumbo, he always put the rice on top in so it middle. wouldn't get too bloated on the bottom. There you yep. go. Mix now it look in at as that. you go. Gumbo Gorgeous. rice. Now, we have a one-pot dessert. In any Gullah household, we have chewies. Basically, melted butter, sh uh, brown sugar, a little bit of uh, one egg that's egg. been lightly beaten. Gotcha. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is just add about a half a teaspoon of baking powder to already sifted all-purpose flour. Okay, dump that gotcha. right in. Go ahead, I'll okay. stir. Fold that in. Lovely. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold, we're gonna fold in some pecans, some vanilla extract, and also almond extract. I, I just... love almond extract. So now that we've got that all mixed up, okay. it's really, really thick, so you're gonna use the jaws of life just to elbow grease and kind of get it out there. <laughs> Spread it across like that. Lovely, okay. lovely. So your oven should be set to 350. We're gonna... Yes, just... ma'am. I got it, I got it. Should give it a little shake, okay? Give it a little shimmy shake. Pop that in the oven for about 20 minutes, uncovered. And then what you got here is Chewies. Look at that. Woo! Gumbo chewies. Oh, and then a little bit of powdered sugar. Gorgeous! 